Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Peter Clausey. How are you? I'm fine. How are you today? Good. I want to talk to you about GTA Resources. You moved up nicely in May, and so I'd love to get an update since we last spoke to Wayne Reed during PDAC. Uh, when Wayne was in at PDAC, he mentioned that we had acquired a property that we call Ivanhoe. It's in northern Ontario beside the Borden Lake deposit, which was just purchased by Gold Corp for in excess of half a, half a billion dollars. We've since acquired further claims in the area by staking. We started a boots and hammer program, and we expect to be drilling later this summer. We're very excited by that. So let me back you up. How does a, a, such a small company as yours pick up such a large piece of property that's next door virtually to such a high, highly valued resource? We're a lucky group. We have a very deep board of directors and a very experienced management team with great contacts in the mining industry. We've tried to conduct ourselves with ethics, with integrity, and as a result, we find that we're offered good projects to work upon by prospectors and explorers who trust us. Well, speaking of that, I have read the board and management teams, and you have a very substantial board and management team. And I noticed you also picked up some interesting acquisitions in Newfoundland. Can you talk to me about this? Um, the Newfoundland property is called Burnt Pond. It actually consists, as many properties do, of different areas. We, sur we almost surround the Duck Pond Mine, which is now owned by Tech. Duck Pond is a zinc copper producer. We staked claims. We acquired further claims by acquisition, just approved by the TSXV. And it appears that our geology is the same as that which underlies the Duck Pond producing mine. Of course, Newfoundland is a very interesting place right now. We have a number of rising stars in that area. You have zinc, copper, gold. What else do we have in these uh, two pond acquisitions? We think it's just zinc and copper. Um, there have been historical tracings of gold, historical tracings of silver, but our early indications are that it will be a zinc property. Zinc is exciting right now because it has a long supply response, and it does appear as though the world will have a zinc shortage about 2018 to 2020, and is one of the few metals that will be suffering that shortage. I've noticed you seem to be an acquisition play. Is that what GTA Resources is, or what is the objective for GTA Resources with this team? Well, glibly, the, the objective is always to make money for the shareholders. We're doing that because we have only 30 million shares outstanding. We have roughly $800,000 cash in the bank, and we have this management team. We've never consolidated the stock. We're taking advantage of those strengths to acquire properties and to exploit our skill set in the field to create real value for the shareholders. So, Peter, what is GTA planning on doing, say, in the next quarter or the quarter after, since you're so committed to shareholders? We have three projects that we're actively working. First is Ivanhoe, which we've discussed already. We hope to be drilling late summer, early fall. So drill results will come out midway through the fall. We're on the ground in Newfoundland at Burnt Pond, and we are, as announced, looking at the possibility of doing uh, e extraction work at our North Shore property. We own 51% of that, and we have the engineers on site looking to, for mining methodologies to extract the gold from the property. We hope to have news on that sometime this year. Well, Peter, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Always nice to see you.